Perkins Good Earth Farm. We are looking at a hand crimper. Um, this is video two. And here you have your rope and your string. And then I added this board for leverage and so that I could press easier. And then what we have is just a square tube, two feet long. And then I attach two, what would be the equivalent of angle iron. One is slightly higher than the other. So as my foot presses down, I can press and then roll a little bit. And I wanted to show you guys the, the motion that I use. So here's an area that just got crimped. And I was wrong about the dough stage in terms of being easiest and getting the most effective kill. Looked up at some research and what you really want is anywhere between 50 to 70% flowering. And that's when you had these anthers shedding. So when you had those grain, it's kind of fully doing that. Um, and I could tell a difference when I crimped this versus the area I crimped about two weeks ago. Uh, this was much easier to crimp, stay down. I went over this area once. So here's kind of my, my motion here that I use. I basically take a step and then with my, I put, add my second foot on there. So I have my full weight and then I just go like that. And I try to do that every seven to 14 inches. So it's a little tedious, but two feet long works much better than three feet because this is a lot of mass to press down. Because this, this was about how thick the stand was, about four and a half, five feet tall. Uh, that's a lot of biomass to set down. Um, and what I'll do here in this area is I'll plant bush beans in two rows. And so it is May 23rd. And I'll seed those today. I'll just part a little slot and then push my one row push seeder through here. I will see how that goes. And again, Perkins Good Earth Farm, rolling crimping for weed control organically.